Africa, the land of contrasts, from the vast grassy plains to the endless coastline, this continent is as undiscovered as it is bountiful. Join me, Chris Coates, and my good friend Richard Leonard on an epic adventure with Rob Allen. We set out to uncover some of the most unfrequented and treacherous dive zones known to spearfishing. First we journey to Nyaka, a sparsely populated island off the coast of Mozambique, where time has stood still and the promise of discovery and full-blown ocean hunting awaits. Sunsets behind us, island paradise, palm trees. The water's warmer than I've felt in years. <coughs> well, yeah, we made it. Turn out to be good. Northeasterly is blowing, it's supposed to switch today in midday and a galing southwest is on its way so we don't quite know how far we're going to go, how far we'll risk it, the west is going to come, we know we're going to be banging back into the west. So it's one of those days we're just going to go out, do our best and, and see what happens. Hey Rich, you finally here bro. First day in the water, go, getting go, in the go, water. Go, go, go. 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 We hit the water and the conditions were perfect. It was all systems go. I soon spotted a huge manta ray just gliding along the reef. Rich did not hesitate. He swam after the ray to take a closer look. There was a good sized cobia following close behind. When Richard saw the cobia, there was just one thing on his mind and the hunt was on. But I figured chasing after a fish like this seldom works out well. Rich was lucky when his persistence paid off and the cobia did the unthinkable. It banked off the ray, turning right on cue. Richard landed the cobia with no problems at all, and as we hit the surface, the stoke was contagious. And that manta with the cobia right on top of it bent round, okay? The cobia came straight off, bro. <laughs> boom! I was like, and you see him turn in front of me, he just went boom, like this, turned straight in front of me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Having Rob Allen on the trip gave us the unique opportunity to tap into his vast experience and knowledge. He brought with him some of his new guns to test out. Using this new gear only made the experience that much greater and we landed some amazing fish. For 2013 the Vector 2 now comes with an optional extra loading butt. This also fits all previous models. Over the last several months we've been developing a loading butt, primarily because we've had big demand for this from the overseas market. The Vector 2 has much better working components inside, much more user friendly, simpler and far less likely to have any jammings. The sear now is an active sear with the line release, so when you pull the trigger the line release pops at the same time. The Vector 2 comes with an existing bracket. It does not get in your way if you don't use the reel. If you ever need to attach a reel, you simply clip it in, slide it into position, set your line up accordingly, away you go. A little later in the day, I dropped the flash and I heard Rob shouting, Sailfish! I breathed up and dived as fast as I could. 
As I reached the bottom of the flasher, the Sailie snuck up from behind. I swung round and landed a great shot. Well done, man. <coughs> Beautiful fish, eh? Sure, it's known for its beauty and speed. The Sally was a beautiful fish, but the magic was not about to stop. I saw something on the next drift that would have us hunting for the next few days. Take a wild guess and time to come to you. Doggy. I couldn't believe it, eh? We didn't get the doggy today, but as the light faded, we headed back to the island, knowing that we had a plan for the next few days. Could we get that elusive doggy? Hey there, I'm Chris Coates, and thanks so much for watching our video. I hope you really enjoyed this one. If you want to watch more videos like this, you're going to have to hit the subscribe button. That's right over here. And if you go over there to the description, you can go to the Rob Allen website and see some of their cool gear. You can subscribe to the Ultimate Spearfishing Magazine and get some of the latest and greatest spearfishing films from the gurus of spearfishing DVDs, spearadvd.com. So don't forget, if you want to watch more films like this, you're going to have to subscribe and use this button right here. Thanks and all. See you soon.